Hello, my name is Michael Watson. I'm a composer and music producer and I'm teaching you Ableton live like it is in the manual. And today I'm going to be teaching you MIDI step recording. So I've opened up an Ableton live project. I'm in session view. I've got a MIDI track over here with an instrument loaded and I've double clicked an empty slot to create a MIDI clip. And if you double click your MIDI clip, you get this piano roll, which I've resized by getting this weird everything and moving up and down. Okay, so it's quite common to write a song where there are going to be sections of just long sustained chords and uh, for those of you that really like recording in your midi and not drawing it in this is what's going to end up happening to you you're going to be sitting and waiting and then you're going to wait another whole bar and then you're going to wait another whole bar and you get the picture and it takes really long so with midi step recording you can record or input a whole bar of MIDI notes with your MIDI controller without drawing it in. Super, super quick. So let me demonstrate. You're in your piano roll and you need to make sure that this preview is highlighted so that your MIDI editor preview is on. This is absolutely crucial. It will not work if your preview is off. So check that thing. And I move your transport bar to where you want it. And I want it at the beginning of the bar. Also, I'm going to be recording four bars of MIDI with four chords and each chord is one bar long so I've just taken my loop brace here this little gray thingy over there and I have extended my midi clip to now be the length of four whole bars with my transport bar at the beginning of the midi clip I'm playing a C major chord on my midi controller and um, on my computer keyboard I'm gonna just hit the right arrow and I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna play the next chord first play the chord then hit the right arrow next chord all right, and in virtually no time, well, very little time, I have quote unquote recorded four whole bars of music and four chords. And that's what step recording is. You are recording in step various MIDI notes without being confined by a metronome or recording in a certain tempo. So like I said, this works really well with long sustained chords, but it also works really well for really fast passages of music that have the same notes. So for instance, uh, um, so in that little phrase, all the notes are 30 second notes and uh, I could try and record it in tempo like at the right speed and I will probably make mistakes and then I'll have to redo it and blah 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 and it'll take a lot longer so let me just step record it and then play it back at tempo and then it'll be awesome make sure your preview is enabled here and also because I'll be doing 30 seconds notes I need to change my fixed grid value so earlier I, it was set to a bar because each chord each MIDI chord I want it to be a bar long but um, to change it just right click into an empty area of your piano roll here and at the bottom it says fixed grid and I'm going to go 30 seconds notes and there's also a shortcut for that command one two three and four uh, these shortcuts all have to do with fixed grid so command four will toggle your grid on and off command three will turn it into triplet mode or not command two will essentially double the note value grid so half the amount of grids there on there it's a little confusing and number one will do the opposite so it will halve the duration of the um, grid values here but it'll double the amount of grid values so basically now my grid is set to a 30 second so my transfer bar is the right place this preview is on and uh, i'm going to play my first note first play the note then hit the right arrow on your keyboard So let's play that back. So that's way faster than I could have pulled off on the piano. And uh, it was super easy thanks to step recording and it was super quick. I didn't have to go in and fix a lot of errors. And um, once you're done recording, you could just clean up some note values. Uh, there's just two things I wanna say on this. So if you um, hit your note, so your E, you see that there's like a wannabe note over there. You'd have to hit your right arrow at the same time for it to record. And if you actually want to undo that record, you can just push the left arrow again or just let go without hitting the arrow. So if I hit my note and uh, let go without hitting the arrow, it's not going to record anything. Alternatively, if you do record a note and then you want to take a couple gaps, you can just do so with your right and left arrow. You don't have to move your mouse and move the transport bar. You can just hop along. And if you want to be super nifty and skip a whole bar, you can just quickly change your grid to... A bigger value and quickly hop along and then change it back to small value and uh, 
start recording again so get familiar with those shortcuts it'll really help you getting in some quick notes and save time with those long drawn out chords i hope that you've learned something new on a related topic i'm also going to be talking about midi overdubbing so if that's something you want to learn uh it should come up unless i haven't released it yet in which case hang in there next week it'll come out thank you so much for your support have fun learning